Here's a basic explanation of milkshape parts. So, um, I'm gonna explain controls and what the interface does. Uh, select. You can select vertices, like, uh, let's just have an example. So, with vertex select, you can select vertices. Right, you can do, uh, you can, uh, right click and then go to wireframe overlay if you want to do that. Uh, I personally don't do that. But, uh, once you've selected your vertices, you can move them like that. Or you can do redraw all viewports so that it redraws it while you're moving it. Um, you can just click and drag to select, or if you hold shift while you click and drag, it will no, shift and then click and drag with right click yeah shift and then if you click and drag with right click instead it will deselect so that's uh, useful and then um, you have your face selection you know you could select those faces you can move them also I personally like to turn off redraw all viewports um, and ignore back faces uh, by clicking by vertex it allows you to uh, select all the faces connected to that vertex if you need to do that um, auto tool basically um, what it does is you select and then it automatically chooses move for you uh, which you know it's easier just to choose your next tool uh, ignore back faces makes it so uh, for instance I'll turn on the wireframe overlay so you can see here you uh, select I'm looking at the left side of the model right so it will only select uh, I'll just look in flash view for now. It'll only select the ones that are towards the face I selected it from. Uh, if you look on the right side, here it'll be like that. Yeah. Um, Alright, so, group. Uh, we have our groups listed here. You can double click to select a group, or you can physically just click on that group. For instance, I want to select my group of uh, black pieces that I have here. So I select those, but then it ends up selecting other pieces, so I can just deselect that by uh, shift right clicking. And now only the ones that I have in this group that happen to be the black pieces are right here and right here are selected. Alright. And then joint, uh, that's pretty simple. So I've made a joint here, and I can select it or deselect it. Uh, that's pretty obvious. I'll just delete that. Okay. So before I go on to the move function, uh, I will explain my configuration that I have here. Um, this is my 3D viewport. This is always my left side view. And this is always my top. And this is either my right side view or my front view. Uh, it really just depends on what I'm doing at the time. Alright. And uh, when you open Milkshape, you don't have these little uh, bars. It's just a small bar like this one. Uh, there you go to Window and you click Show Viewport Caption like that. Alrighty. Then uh, Move. That means that when you select part of the box no. okay I've selected part of the box as you can see uh, red means that it's selected and white means that it is not selected and you can just move the red one like so and since they're directly connected it will also move the white one uh, but you can do that by or you can undo that 
by going to vertex unweld and you should just be able to select the top one there yep and move it uh, when you get milk shape it will look like this these will be back faces but uh, I personally like to turn off my back faces I yeah, it's just a personal choice okay uh, so move it's you know it's a pretty obvious uh, thing see I have this grid here to explain uh, axes um, basically this purple line here is um, the Z axis oh hold on trying to show the last axis so yeah okay so this purple line here is the z-axis which means it's front and backwards uh, like if this were a gun then uh, the rest of the barrel would be here and the point where the bullet comes out would be you know here on that end. This end. Terrible example, but uh, it's just to let you know. Um, and then Y is along that uh, turquoise line, you know, up and down. And then yellow is along, or X is along this yellow line, which means side to side. Uh, if you looked at it, in the 3D viewport, it would look like this. And just like, uh, you know, got your front and then you have your side. So that's axes. And then, uh, move. Uh, you have options here. For instance, if you only want to move along one of the axes, you can click the blue thing, and you will deselect the other ones. See, no matter how I try, no matter what direction I move my cursor in, I will only move along the blue line. Uh, same thing if I deselect one of them, then from this viewport I can't move anything, so I can only move it along this one. Or... You know, if I do that, then I can only move it front and backwards. Okay. If you deselect everything, then you can't move it at all. Uh, you can move, you know, absolute zero here, which means the very center of the axis. That's what that's for. It's uh, mostly probably for centering projectiles. Uh, and you can have move to center of group like um, if I make this box I want to move it to center of box 4 and then it will just go inside of that one no matter where box 4 is it'll just move it inside of it uh, I'm not entirely sure what you would use that for but you can do it uh, relative just means like if I have my box here and I want to move it one up that'll be one QB upwards or one and one it'll be one in both directions you see or one and one it'll be in every direction if you want to go in the opposite direction you can just go negative uh, If you set it to zero, it doesn't move at all. And I've moved it to there. So yeah, and even you want to reset it, just go absolute zero. Alright, so that's select and move explained in the most exhaustive way possible.